Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are the different ways to customize test ng report? Let me answer. There are several ways to customize test ng reports. These are the ways. Okay, these are some common ways. The first way that we generally prefer or I use okay in real time is by using the I test listener. Okay, it is a test ng listener or it is a predefined interface in test ng. Okay. Using this ITest listener, we can customize the test ng report. Okay. We can add the logs, we can add the screenshot to the test ng default test ng reports. Okay. That level of customization we can do with the help of ITest listener, test ng listener, okay, which is a predefined interface in test ng. And also there's other way that is by using I reporter, test ng reporter. Here, I reporter is also another predefined interface in test ng. By using this I reporter, test ng reporter also. We can customize the test ng report. Then the third way is by using a third party library known as report ng. Okay. Report ng is a third party library. Okay. Like test ng is a library, report ng is another library. By using this report ng third party library along with test ng library, we can enhance the default test ng reports. Okay. This is another way. Then by using XSLT. Okay. By using XSLT. So if you use this XSLT, then we can transform the XML format generated test ng reports into customized test ng HTML reports. Okay. So test ng not only generates the reports in HTML format, but also generates the report in XML format. With the help of XSLT, that XML format generated test ng report can be transformed into a customized HTML report. Okay. Then the final option that I am suggesting for mentioning in this session as part of the different ways of customizing the test ng report is with the help of Maven or AND. This both are build tools, okay? So during the build process itself, we can mention some kind of uh, instructions to customize the uh, test ng reports, okay? Using build automation tools like Maven or AND, you can configure them during the building process to generate custom test ng reports as part of the build process, okay? But uh, I generally prefer the first way, but that is by using the ITest listener. Okay, this is the uh, easiest and better way I feel. Okay, but there are different ways. Okay, even though there are many ways, this one is something I prefer for customizing the test ng report. But uh, in real time, guys, I never use test ng reports. Okay, we go for some advanced reports like extent reports and all. Okay, since the question is uh, asked for us, okay. We can mention this ways, but uh, in real time, we use uh, extend reports or some advanced good looking reports like extend reports. But test ng is uh, one type of report. If you still want to customize a test ng report that, uh, that no one generally does nowadays because of the extend reports and other advanced good looking reports. Okay. If still asked, you can, you can give this as an answer. Okay. These are the different ways. I personally prefer the first way I test listener, test ng listener, which is a predefined interface in test ng to customize the test ng reports. Okay. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.